Speakers at a two-day forum shared a consensus as they agree that true democracy is characterized by dialogue, mutual respect and learning. They also stress the necessity of the coexistence of different systems in a community committed to a shared future for all people. We believe that as long as all countries view each other's democratic models equally, explore their own path to democracy, promote the common values of mankind, and improve the global governance system, we will be able to create strong synergy for the development of human civilization and jointly usher in a brighter future. They believe as countries differ in geography and historical and cultural backgrounds, it's crucial for each nation to adopt a model of democracy that suits its own conditions. Only when the form and institutions of democracy fit the specific national conditions, history and culture of a country can they win the broad support of its people and successfully improve people's well-being. China Media Group says it will further leverage the role of the media as a bridge, keeping an open mind while emphasizing communication and cooperation. We will continue to deepen our media cooperation mechanism with partners in Latin America, Europe, ASEAN and Africa. We will organize signature activities such as the CMG Forum, expand new channels and open up new fronts to help eliminate the global trust deficit. The president of Zambia's Socialist Party delivered some harsh words about the U.S. ahead of the Summit for Democracy in Costa Rica next week. A country that has been built on a brutal force, on enslavement of other human beings, on the humiliation of Africans, the exploitation of Africans, the plunder of Africa, today is coming to teach us about democracy. That's the arrogance, the imperialist arrogance, the racist arrogance that we are subjected to. Officials emphasize the importance of promoting truth and focusing on what's important for people's lives and livelihood without being influenced by the zero-sum gain mindset or Cold War approach of certain countries. In the first summit, Pakistan was also invited, but we did not go. We rejected the invitation. Because the summit is not about democracy. So I would say that in this changing time, it is very important that in the battle of ideas, the battle of narratives, we promote the truth and we focus on what is important for our countries, for the people's lives, people's livelihoods in building a better tomorrow. And not being influenced by the diktat of those countries who are looking at the world through a zero-sum game mindset or through a Cold War approach. Meanwhile, the leader of the Workers' Party of Britain, George Galloway, praised China's development and called for a better understanding of the country's process. The kind of development we have seen in China over these 25 years, particularly over the last decade, is a lesson to other so-called democracies. Well, I think I speak for a growing number of people who do not yet know, and we must work to tell them what whole process democracy, whole process people's democracy means. They don't yet know that, but they do know their own democracy isn't working. Galloway says that no system of governance is universal, a statement that was well received by the audience. As a consensus that as the world moves forward, it's important for countries to respect each other and enhance democracy on a global scale. Dai Kai, CGTN, Beijing.